हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माइंड मैप प्रोग्राम टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कॉन्टिनेंट्स एंड द ओशन बेसेंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कॉन्टिनेंटल ड्रिफ्ट थ्योरी बाय टेलर एंड वेगनर फोर्सेज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द ड्रिफ्ट प्लेट टेक्टोनिक थ्योरी सी फ्लोर स्प्रेडिंग मिड ओशियानिक रिच एंड इवेल्युएशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक Continents and ocean bases being fundamental relief features of the globe are considered as relief features of the first order. About 70.8% of the total surface area of the globe is oceans, whereas the remaining 29.2% is the continents. Even the distribution of different continents and oceans in both the hemispheres is not uniform. The following characteristic features of the distributional pattern of the continents and the ocean basins may be highlighted. More than 75% of the total land area of the globe is situated to the north of the equator that is in the northern hemisphere contrary to this water bodies dominate in the southern hemisphere the north pole is surrounded by oceanic water while the south pole is surrounded by land area of the antarctic continent the great pacific ocean basin occupies almost one third of the entire surface area of the globe Now let's discuss about continental drift theory Taylor's theory FB Taylor postulated his concept of horizontal displacement of the continents in the year 1908 but it could be published only in 1910 The main purpose of his hypothesis was to explain the problems of the origin of the folded mountains of the tertiary period According to Taylor continents moved towards the equator from poles According to Taylor continents were displaced in two ways one equatorward movement and westward movement he said the driving force responsible for both types of movement was the tidal force of the moon though the concept of fb taylor is not acceptable but his hypothesis is considered to be significant wegner's theory professor alfred wegner of germany was primarily a meteorologist He propounded his concept on continental drift in the year 1912. Wegener's displacement hypothesis was based on the works and findings of a host of scientists such as geologists, paleoclimatologists, etc. Following Edward Seuss, Wegener believed three layer system of the earth, example outer layer of Seal, intermediate layer of Sima, and the lower layer of knife he assumed that all the land masses were united together in the form of one land mass which he named pangaea there were several similar smaller inland seas scattered over the pangaea which was surrounded by a huge water body it was named by wegener as panthalassa representing primeval pacific ocean the pangaea was disrupted during subsequent periods and broken land masses drifted away from each other thus the present position of the continents and ocean basins became possible now let's have a look at the forces responsible for the drift wegener also hypothesized the continental movement as equatorward and westward he emphasized that continental blocks are lighter as they are made of sial the equatorward movement of sialic blocks was caused by gravitational differential force and force of buoyancy for westward movement he also said the tidal forces of sun and moon are responsible though most points of wegner's theory were rejected but its central theme of horizontal displacement was retained plate tectonic theory The whole mechanism of the evolution nature and motion of plates and resultant reactions is called plate tectonics. The term plate was first used by Canadian geophysicist Tuzo Wilson in 1965. Moving over the weak asthenosphere individual lithospheric plates glide slowly over the surface of the globe. Plate tectonic theory a great scientific achievement of the decade of 1960s is based on two major scientific concepts that is the concept of continental drift and the concept of sea floor spreading plate margins are divided into three groups constructive plate margin aka divergent plate margin oceanic plates split apart along the mid oceanic ridges and move in opposite directions destructive plate margins aka that is convergent plate margins two plates move towards each other or two plates converge and conservative plate margins aka transverse plate margins 
two plates pass or slide past one another along transform faults and thus crust is neither created nor destroyed. Now let's discuss about sea floor spreading. The concept of sea floor spreading was first propounded by Professor Harry Hess. He propounded that the mid-oceanic ridges were situated on the rising thermal convection currents coming up from the mantle. The oceanic crust moves in opposite directions from mid-oceanic ridges. These molten lavas cool down and solidify to form new crust along the trailing ends of divergent planes, oceanic crust. Thus, there is a continuous creation of new crust along the mid-oceanic ridges and the expanding crust or plates are destroyed along the oceanic trenches. These facts prove that the continents and ocean bases are in constant motion. This movement was called sea floor spreading. The continental crust on average is of great antiquity when compared to oceanic crust. Oceanic crust is everywhere less than about 200 million years old. Studies of rocks have revealed that the oldest known pieces of the continents began to form nearly 4 billion years ago, soon after Earth itself formed. Oceanic crust is younger because of the seafloor spreading and destruction of the crust near trenches. Mid-Oceanic Ridge While the rising thermal convection currents come up from the mantle, that elongated region is called Mid-Oceanic Ridge. It is the divergent boundary and seafloor spreading start from here. These are almost in the middle of oceans. The Atlantic Ocean has S-shaped, almost continuous mid-oceanic ridge. Now moving on to evaluation. It is commonly agreed by the majority of the scientists that plate tectonics has validated the concept of continental drift. The continental drift has now become a reality. The only point of argument and question is related to the competent force responsible for the drifting of the continents. Most of the scientists still rely on the thermal convective currents coming from the mantle as the probable adequate force to move the plates in different directions. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, note down the prelims question that was asked in 2013 exam. Consider the following. 1. Electromagnetic radiation. 2. Geothermal energy. 3. Gravitational force. 4. Plate movements. 5. Rotation of the earth. 6. Revolution of the Earth Which of the above are responsible for bringing dynamic changes on the surface of the Earth? 1, 2, 3 and 4 only 1, 3, 5 and 6 only 2, 4, 5 and 6 only or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 And now mains question that was asked in 2018 exam Define mental plume and explain its role in plate tectonics So that's all for today Stay tuned for the next episode Thanks for watching.